The Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, the TRC, has issued a fine to Caribbean Cellular Telephone Limited, CCT, in relation to CCT's unauthorized use of the 700 MHz spectrum. A release from the TRC says, after careful consideration and consultation conducted with reference to the Telecommunications Act 2006, the TRC has determined that CCT breached the Act and as a result has imposed a fine of $50,000 on CCT. The Act states that an authorization holder shall strictly adhere to its authorized frequency bands. CEO at CCT Evry Penn responded to the TRC action during a press conference on Thursday, May 15th. Um, we have never been shy about the fact that we are building a new network and we want to build a best-in-class network and that does include LTE technology. We went out, we got pioneer status um, to bring in LTE technology. We informed the TRC of each step as we've been going, up, going along. We have installed this technology here within the BVI and we are waiting um, for an opportunity to bring it to the customer. Um, up till now, we have not given LTE technology to any customer because we're awaiting that approval. Um, that is kind of the status of where it is from a CCT perspective. Um, we have to be cognizant of the fact that obviously they are the regulators and they will they, they can do what is in their prerogative to do in terms of, of finding and regulation, and we respect that. Um, we will just continue to zealously advocate for our shareholders. We represent over a thousand people who've invested in this company, and they want to see a return. They want to see best-in-class technology. We have thousands upon thousands of customers that also are clamoring for this technology, and it's not a secret. You know, we bought it, we built it, We've put it up, we got Pioneer status, and we're waiting patiently, um, hoping to get approval so that we can bring it to the customer. The TRC further disclosed in its release, which was communicated to CCT recently, that CCT is not and has never been in possession of a frequency authorization for the 700 MHz band. The TRC also says, after receiving a complaint from another license holder and carrying out its own test on the identified spectrum, the TRC questioned CCT over its alleged use of the 700 MHz band. The regulatory body says CCT's responses to its written inquiries were initially unsatisfactory, and CCT subsequently admitted to its use of the 700 MHz spectrum during February and March of 2014. The release stated that CCT was provided with a written summary of the TRC's preliminary findings and a proposed fine and they were not disputed by CCT. However, CCT CEO seems to have different views on the matter. I want to be very clear. CCT does not have an adverse ad adversarial relationship with the TRC. That withstanding, we may respectfully disagree on things. Um, from our perspective, we have been very clear and very upfront with the media, with our customers, and with the government from the very beginning of our intention of building a new technology network within the BVI and all of the different components that that network would entail. We went out, we asked for permission, we've written letters, we've told them we wanted to test, we have, we've gotten pioneer status. From our perspective, we have tried to be as above board as possible and we were, we, we, we're a little disappointed in the fine that has come down to us and obviously we will look to see what recourse we have moving forward. Chief Executive Officer of the TRC, Guy Malone, says the TRC is now pressing on with the process of allocating frequencies that will allow the launch of new and innovative mobile service in the Virgin Islands such as 4G LTE. The TRC is preparing to allocate 700 megahertz spectrum in an award process and after which licenses will be granted.